Hello everyone, I just posted the video showing you my loadouts for season 6 and today we're gonna go over the settings I use from basic settings to my HUD, sensitivity, and a bunch of other stuff. For each setting, I'll explain why and how I use them and how it might be useful for you as well. So we're just gonna talk about the things that I have turned on for my basic settings first and some that you need to turn off. I have aim assist on because I've had it on since I started playing so I'll leave it on here. It helps with sticky aim whenever you strafe in gunfights as I have shown in my aim assist video. I have quick run from prone turned on so I can quickly get up and run from when I'm crawling or prone behind cover. Saves you some time and fingers from needing to tap on other buttons in order to stand up. Fixed right fire button you should have this on if you're a claw player because it allows you to place it anywhere on the screen even on the left side. If you turn it off, it'll always be on the right side of your screen and you'll always be ready to fire. If your HUD isn't like mine and you have your right fire button on the right side, make sure you turn on right fire button for fixed perspective. This will make sure your perspective won't be affected when you tap and hold the R fire button. If you have it off, your perspective will move as you move the finger you use to tap the fire button. Fixed virtual joystick display position is more of a preference. You can have it on or off. Either way, I just like it to be in place so it won't be distracting to my view at all. Continuous grenade throw setting is a must have if you're the type of guy who's still using thermites with shrapnel in the current season. This allows you to throw grenades consecutively without switching to your primary weapon. Useful for people who carry two smokes or concussion grenades with the tactician perk. Quick weapon switch is important to have on to be able to switch weapons fast with a single tap. Useful for snipers who like switching to their secondary a lot or for players to switch quickly whenever you run out of ammo or you want to take down a score streak with a launcher. Split throw button, a new addition to the recent update, is very clutch. It reduces the time for you to pull out your tactical equipment without having to tap the switch button. Console and PC versions of Call of Duty have separate buttons for lethal and tactical equipment, so it's a good thing to have. I like it. One tap weapon switch button is also a nice thing that COD Mobile added to the game as previously we needed to tap on our weapon icons to switch but with a dedicated button we can now assign it wherever we want and place our weapon icons on the side so it won't be as distracting. I'll explain more when we get into my HUD later. I have joystick auto sprint on for when I want to run without having to hold on the joystick and have a quick check at the scoreboard, minimap, or just activate score streaks. Just drag your finger to the running icon, let go, and you'll be running with a free finger. So for the things I have off, fast throw grenade isn't as useful so we have it off plus you can't cook grenade so I'm not using this setting. Hide prone button is also disabled because not having to hold down the crouch button to prone saves us a bit of time and allows us to prone a bit quicker so I try to take advantage of the prone button. You have to have ADS button for rotation off because it's similar to our fire button for fixed perspective but it's for the ADS or scope in button. If you're a claw player you need to have this off so your aim can be as pure as it can be. Perspective teammate, I have it off just because it can be distracting. Also, having been used to the teammate name tags is enough information for me to have an idea where they might be positioned. Other phones don't support this setting, so remember that hashtag laggy phones matter. Slide hint doesn't have much use for me anymore because I have the opacity for my movement buttons turned all the way down. But it's useful for people that are practicing how to time their slides. Scrolling down, I have tap to ADS as the setting of my choice. If you want the best settings for better aim, let me know down in the comments below. I have the display left fire button on because I actually use two fire buttons side by side as you'll see on my controls a bit later. I use tap crouch while sprinting for sliding. This is the default setting for everyone and it's the best option because you can slide with a tap and that's faster than having to hold down the crouch button before sliding. I don't do always sprint because in some cases you need to walk to take advantage of dead silence in games like SD or if you want to flank and be sneaky in respawn game modes. I keep this value around 80 to 90 and I find that having it too low will make it harder for me to slide quickly and having it too high will give me difficulties in controlling between walking and sprinting. Try to play with it and see what works for you. 
I have gyroscope off because I'm lazy, and for the camera FOV, I actually stopped from using 90 FOV and dialed it down to 80 because I was having difficulty seeing enemies from range while running around. 80 is perfect for me and for my new phone. As for the marker settings, I have both objective and item marker at 70 scale and 50 opacity. That way, they won't be distracting in game while still having a sense of where the markers are pointing at. For my minimap settings, I have scale of 105 and opacity of 100. I like being able to see the minimap properly, and you could probably get away with 80 opacity, but just to be sure, I keep it 100. For minimap info settings, I have map zoom on 55, so I can see more of the minimap and icon zoom on 80. I also have minimap rotation on and player in the center on. This allows me to view the minimap relative to where I'm currently looking at in the game. I have color lots off because I am in the place solo and I'm forever <laughs> alone. <laughs> Now that's out of the way, let's head over to my controls and my HUD. Let me just turn on my handgun for this one, so you can have a better understanding on how I use my HUD with my fingers. For my shooting modes, here they are. But I am considering of having one tap ADS on all guns, so I can slide cancel with all classes. A HUD should make your gameplay easier and effortless, not harder. So optimize your setup to be as comfortable as it can be so you can do more without having to exert much effort in order to focus on the more important things in the gunfight. Let's divide the HUD into four main parts and go over each button, how I use it, and what finger I use to tap it. On the upper left part of my HUD, you'll see two fire buttons side by side. The left one's for ADS to fire button, which I use mostly to slide cancel and when I'm caught up in gunfights out in the open and I'll be needing to focus on movement. The one on the right is actually the hip fire button. I manoscope whenever I can so it's right there. I actually got this from one of the earliest COD Mobile YouTubers, Scurvio, and I've been playing like this ever since. Just beside the hip fire button is my mini map. I have gotten used to having a glance without having to take off my focus that much to what is happening in front of me. Last thing on this corner is the scoreboard which I access using my left thumb in order to make sure I'm still top fragging in the game and rage at teammates who aren't doing OBJ while having negative KD. Moving on to the upper right side of my HUD, as you can see I have all of my movement buttons here together with my ADS or scope in button. I primarily use my right index finger to toggle these buttons. As you can see on the side I have my settings voice chat buttons, and emote buttons all in one spot. I really try to group buttons together in one spot or area for more accessibility and faster reaction time. Less finger travel means less time it takes to tap on the buttons you want. Now on the lower right part of my HUD, some buttons here might pass the midline along the x-axis, but I access most of these with my right thumb so they'll be included in this part of my HUD. As most people do, I also use my right thumb for aiming so I keep a lot of things close by so I can get back to controlling my camera as soon as possible. You know I have split throw button on so my lethal and tactical grenades are here side by side. The game chat is there for whenever I want to talk trash against people who accuse me of hacking and just beside it is the operator skill button which I can access by just lifting my thumb up. You may be seeing the weapon icon or button just below but I just put it there on the side so I can see how many bullets I have left with a quick glance. It looks nice on the side and I won't be tapping that accidentally because I have my weapon switch and reload buttons here on the bottom of my screen. Easy to reach and very convenient without having to exert too much effort. Grenade pickup and cancel buttons are right there just on top of the weapon switch button. These buttons only appear when you're near a grenade or when you're cooking one so you should put them where you can tap it quickly. I also use my right thumb to tap on the weapon pickup button and the action button which you can use for plants, diffuses, and for nukes. I have the marker button and the knife button tucked away here on the bottom right corner because I don't really use it. For the lower left part of my screen, it's mainly for controlling the joystick and where I hide most of the things that I don't use. I hide the calling card and some other stuff here on the lower left corner. As you can see, my score streak buttons are here on the bottom of the screen, just reachable enough whenever I want to activate them. If you're just having fun with the game, 
You could always get away with high graphic quality with the highest frame rate your phone allows. But if you want to get sweaty, you should prioritize your frame rate like me and set it to ultra or max and set your graphic quality to medium or low. This will allow your phone to work the least while providing you maximum performance. I have anti-aliasing on to make things look a bit more smooth in game, but it doesn't really make much of a difference so you can have it off. Real-time shadows is a nice setting to have on to make the game look better even on medium or low graphics setting. For audio, I just have my settings so that I can hear footsteps better. I have UI volume on 50%, while I have voice chat, microphone, and theme voice volume on 80%, and I turn music and ambient volume all the way to zero because I don't want to hear any of that. For my hit effects, I use classic flare with a black color so I can see that my enemies are getting hit without being too distracted. I need to have my get hit hint color to be contrasting so I picked yellow. Explosion shake setting, I have it off because I am a tank. Two reasons why I haven't been able to find my sensitivity was because of the 90 FOV and me switching to a phone with a bigger screen. My sensitivity got all messed up but now I have found a proper sensitivity for me across all weapons and if you want a video on how I found my sensitivity without using my calculator, let me know. I am a big speed excel believer and I kinda have a sense already on how to control it so I have it on 140. Switch while opening ADS is pretty standard so I leave it at that. For my sensitivity values, I actually have it on mid preset while adjusting it as I play more and more, finding my swipes to be effortless. That's what you need to aim for when you're finding your sensitivity. Having the ability to perform swipes effortlessly will make your game more fluid. So those are the settings I use for multiplayer and it all boils down to personal preference. Make your perfect settings according to your phone capabilities, screen size, your finger size, and get really comfortable to make your gameplay effortless. Adjust your HUD and settings to what you like, and don't forget to like the video if you have learned something new or you want to try something out of my settings. That's it for today's video, share this to your friend who's got trash settings and help them find their best settings so they can finally help you win more rank matches. For today's question, I wanna know, what finger do you use for the fair button? Thanks for watching, I'll see you next one.